Jesus. I come to you right now. Father, thank you for the day. Thank you for how you're strengthening us, how you're moving among us. Your people, Lord Jesus, I ask that you word my lips and guide my tongue in the name of Jesus. Do it according to your will, way and purpose. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We come to you today from Psalms 11. And I'm going to start at the first verse and go through the fourth. And it reads as follows. In the Lord I put my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string. They that may privily shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. And the Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. Amen. To the hearing and reading of God's word. I'm here to tell you, as I go straight into the text, I want you to want you to turn to your neighbor as a scripture. And as my text, I want you to say that the foundation can it be destroyed. Can the foundation be destroyed? We have to ask, we as the children of God, we have to ask some questions. What is the foundation? And if we find out what the foundation is, can it be destroyed? And I'm here to tell you today that if the foundation is Jesus, and he said upon this rock I build my church, and the foundation is Jesus, then can it be destroyed? Well, if it's Jesus, Jesus cannot be destroyed. For as we know, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? That is the question. So therefore, I come to make ready in preparation to tell you what thus saith the Lord. And I'm here to tell you that Jesus said when you're built on the rock, that it doesn't matter what happens that folk think is going to do you in. If you build your house upon the rock, you can stand the storm. I'm here to tell you that when the wind gets to blowing, yeah, when the lightning gets to flashing, when the thunder gets to rolling, hey, when your self is built on the rock, you can stand the storm. I'm here to tell you that I've seen the lightning flashing. I've heard, I've heard the thunder rolling. I, I felt sins breakers dashing as they try to conquer my soul. But yeah, I heard the voice of Jesus. He bids me to still fight on. Oh, he promised. Oh, he promised, he promised never to leave me. He promised never to leave me alone. Hallelujah. Mm. Let me add one footnote to David. I know your friend said, if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? Mm, but let Paul step in. Paul answers David. David said, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Paul said, David, sit down. Let me tell you something. I know that you are the father figure. They said Jesus the Messiah would be a son of David. So David, you are ancestor. And you don't live to see your children live on. But I'm here to tell you that you, he came through your family. And he walked the sandy shores of Galilee. He healed the sick. And he cleansed the lepers. He unstopped deaf ears. And he opened blind eyes. He laid a foundation, and let me tell you what, the foundation that he laid 
it should. You don't have to worry about what's going to happen to the foundation. For the foundation of God is staying sure, having this seal that God knows them that are His. He knows them that are washed in the blood. He knows them that are filled with the Spirit. He knows that when you're going through your trials, that if you put your hand in His hand, don't worry about the foundation. The foundation won't be damaged because God knows. I wish you'd tell somebody that God knows. And sometimes it's best to leave it that way. You don't need to tell everybody what's happening to you. That somebody on your job gave someone else a raise and didn't give you one. Don't nobody else need to know. Because God knows. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Don't nobody need to know if you just put your hand in all your trials in God's hand. Don't nobody else need to know. But God knows. Oh, God knows. Sometimes we try to tell everybody else our business. And then you become a laughing stock. Don't nobody need to know everything that you go through. God said, I'll be with you wherever you go. I, I, I just come to tell you that the foundation of God won't be destroyed. If you keep your faith in God, if you keep God's commandments, then God will live in you. He said, Say that my word live in you and you in my word. And if you can ask anything, I'll do it for you. Don't worry about the foundation. I'm here to tell you that David, he had some friends like Job. They told Job, that they told David to, to run and flee to the mountains. But David said, don't tell me to flee when my trust is in God. Job had the same kind of friends. They sat down in the dust with him for seven days. He needed encouragement, but they didn't say a word. And when they opened their mouth, they said the wrong thing. They said, Job, you ain't been living like you told us you were living. And you talking about being holy. Don't you know that even the heaven is not in your favor? They even charged the angels with folly. But Job said, shut up. You a bunch of miserable comforters. Don't tell me what to do. Because I, I want to see him. It doesn't matter what I'm going through. I just want to see him and if I see him when the time comes God will prove his word and if I don't find him on my left and I don't find him on my right he's still there because I went to my left where he usually worked and I didn't find him there I went to my right and I couldn't find him there I backed up and I tried to back up on him and I went forward and I tried to press my way on them, but it wasn't there. So I decided I'm just going away right here until he find me. For God knows the way that I take. And when I've been tried, I'm going to come forth like God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that the foundation of God, it cannot be destroyed because God knows them that are his. You can't fool God. You try to fool the people at church. You try to fool the real saints of God. But I'm here to tell you that you can't fool God. It doesn't matter who say you're saved or not. God knows if you are saved or not. 
So therefore we got to live how the word dictates to us. We got to live the life that we sing about and all things. We got to give thanks unto God. We got to praise God like we ain't never praised him before. For I'm here to tell you that Psalms 146 and 1, it says praise ye the Lord. Psalms 147 and 1, praise ye the Lord. Psalms 148 and 1, praise ye the Lord. Psalms 149 and 1, says praise ye the Lord. Psalms 150 and 1, it says praise ye the Lord. But 150 and 6 says praise ye the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise 